One that I want to ask you about specifically is the first one, which is Senate Bill 462, and it's to ban fracking in Florida. Now, I know in 2016, you voted for House Bill 161, which was to partially ban fracking in Florida. And I was just wondering, why not ban it completely? Because I know that you stand... Well, I think I'm a co-sponsor on that. Oh, are you? Is that Dana Young's bill? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, well, then what? We well, why did you have par um, partial fracking? Well, well, a couple things. One is, I'm a roofing contractor. I'm an expert. You want a roof done for 20 years? Call me up. I'll fix it. When I came up here, the first thing I learned is how little I know. Mm. And and you really get up here and you're for judicial and education and every, you know police and I mean you know you know how many things that that we yeah. get bombarded with. Digesting fact from fiction. Mm -hmm. And once you do that to then to understand intended consequences and unintended consequences. Mm -hmm. Not care what the issue is, you have to, or I have, I, I think it's my duty to say, okay, we know what the bill does. What is a lobbyist or a group telling us, or not telling us of all the unintended consequences? Which there are a lot of them. Mm -hmm. And I tell, when I talk to students, for example, when I talk to students in, in uh, the last presidential race, there was a lot of things about free education for college kids. Well, it's not free. Somebody else, and I tell college kids, I said, you know, a lot of college kids are for that. And I said, well, great, but just remember, you're going to graduate in four years or whatever, and now you're going to be paying for all the next college kids. So at least think about things. Doesn't mean you don't do it. It just means you think, you can't think short term, you got to think long term. What do you think the downside is of banning fracking? That's an interesting Well, comment. well, this is, the, she's asking my <laughs> bill. Why, the, why the, he took the, part the, part the, part part. sponsoring the full bill. Yeah, the bill in the House, and I, you know, I didn't. We don't do or very little fracking ever. Well, then the considered. House had a study that was attached to it. Well, and, and, I, and, and I well, I liked when I was first brought with that bill. And like I said, that wasn't a bill I ran. So we run so our own bills, which we have to be some experts in, or we should be. Mm -hmm. And then we have all the other bills. And we have about 2,000 bills that get filed. Mm -hmm. And it's really difficult to, to digest that and, and do that in the, in the short, compressed time frame we have. Yeah. And so when I was brought that bill in the House, if you look at it on face value, moratorium, stop. Because right now, some counties had stopped it. If I, re if I read the statutes right, back in the 40s, Florida statutes allows for fracking mm -hmm. today. Nothing prohibits. So the House bill said we're going to put a temporary moratorium. So you could even, so Alachua County put a ban on fracking. Mm -hmm. That wouldn't hold up in court. Because Florida statutes override county. And, and so even though you, the county could say we're going to do it, if you came in and said, well, Florida statute allows it, then it's a, it's a, it's a statement that, that the county was making, but not a legitimate that wouldn't hold up in court. So that was why when I looked at that, I said, okay, well, there's a, there's a moratorium that's a, that's a temporary. It's only temporary. It's not, and that's what a moratorium is. It's not a permanent. So I said, okay, well, at least we have that until we do a study. And, uh, and the studies... And I didn't have a lot of time to delve into them. So, so some studies said 